All right, so that's that. You'll see in a second that I've done uh, three sets of AMRAP sets uh, this morning. It's around oh, uh, eight o'clock in the morning. It was quite chilly this morning, earlier morning. So I decided not to train then. I had a day off, so I uh, trained a little later. It's still cold, but not as cold. But yeah, I did three sets. Uh, first one I hit 25, 26. I thought I hit 25, but then I counted on the video <sighs> and it was 26. Then I managed 20. I forget now. Maybe it's two, two lots of 17. Yeah, so 20, 17, and 17. Um, I'll, I'll watch it again, you guys will see anyway. Uh, by the time you watch this video, I'll put it up on the screen. But uh, yeah, that's that. So I'm trying to uh, do a couple of sets of AM wraps. Um, so far, I've noticed a pretty good effect when you do one all-out set and then you do at least one other set where you're using the same weight um, and you take that as, as far as you can. Um, quite a good response. I feel like my legs are, are getting uh, stronger from that and also bigger. I feel like the, uh, the hypertrophy is uh, really responsive to that type of training uh, rather than kind of lowering the weight. It's still cardio. You guys can hear me. I'm still catching my breath after well, five minutes, six minutes uh, after the last set. So much oxygen debt to repay. It's uh, the best kind of cardio, in my opinion. It's not boring. Um, you're still huffing and puffing for quite some time, um, and you're also building muscle at the same at the same time. So that's kind of good. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is. Uh, um, let me take this off. What I want to talk about today is this uh, idea that this heart rate training is uh, good for your whole organism, your whole system. Um, so yesterday, let me show you guys. Yesterday I had some work to do around the house. Um, we got rid of this old ass tank, water tank in the backyard. I'll show you. Um, and there were these stands. There were these stands that were holding them up maybe a meter off the ground. Uh, so we sold the tank that was on, on this side and that side there. This one had a previous tank, but when, when we moved in, it wasn't there. So uh, I wanted to get rid of all this, you know, brick and stuff to make some space, put some lawn down and whatever, and uh, have a nicer backyard. So yesterday I used a heavy sledgehammer, 10 pound sledgehammer, 10 pounds, sounds like it's, it's not heavy, but it's, it was actually quite heavy. Um, and I went to work. Now, traditionally speaking, I've always had a kind of weak posterior chain when I'm doing kind of these, um, you know, labor jobs around the backyard or whatever. I'd always kind of get a pump kind of the top of the glute, lower back area. And that would kind of force me to kind of take breaks, intervals, you know. But yesterday, man, I was like a man possessed, man, really. Like it's, I gave it a good go, man. I was smashing these bricks up and things without any fatigue at all. Uh, there was no back fatigue, there was no leg fatigue, there was nothing fatigue, other than the hands. The hands took a bit of a beating. Um, Popped a bit of a callus in the middle finger. Um, but yeah, what I want to talk about is this high uh, rep training is uh, really beneficial to like everyday life, right? Um, I was talking to somebody online and I basically said to them that I feel like I can do more work. And by work, I mean like more endurance. Um, the work could be digging a trench, could be digging a hole, could be you know smashing these bricks with a sledgehammer. Um, he's just more resilient. so. You know, for the longest time, I did 150 odd days where I just did squat every day and I worked up to a heavy single. And then I would do maybe a back off triple or whatever, like very minimal volume work. I now call this low rep training, high rep training, I call 50. <laughs> and, and then in between you can work it out, right? So ever since I started doing these uh, high reps, sets of 50, sets of 30, sets of 20, um, I really felt like I'm stronger. Uh, not just strong in translation to the, the bar, uh, to the, the weight I put on the bar, but just moving around, man. Like, I just feel like uh, I'm tougher. Um, I feel I could wrestle. Like, I could wrestle somebody without fatiguing. I could uh, have more output uh, without fatiguing. I just feel like more resilient. So, it's a really cool thing to feel that um, after such a long time of not training muscle endurance at all. Um, I think there is a tapering off effect between strength and muscle endurance. Um, you need some muscle endurance. Muscle endurance is basically a base that you build off of your strength. So 
strength is kind of the peak muscle endurance is the base the more muscle endurance you have the more muscle tissue you're going to have which you can learn which you can teach sorry to express strength with so um i think now that the majority of intermediate and novice lifters should spend the bulk of their time training muscle endurance because um, a lot of us don't have enough muscle tissue um, and then we're trying to specialize with these high rep sorry high weight low rep stuff um, and we're just basically spinning our wheels in mud because we have nothing to work with uh, i think muscle endurance should be sought after first and then you you know perfect the technique afterwards now you probably think to yourself you're, you certainly have changed your views about this and the answer is i have i truly feel like you need muscular endurance um, i feel stronger i feel like i can put more work in you know you saw me here today putting three lots of amrap sets with 100 kilos on the back squat um, and this is after you know squatting every day i squatted yesterday the day before kind of did a similar thing so i feel like my recovery is really getting good um, I know my nervous system got quite good at recovering from the max effort stuff every single day, but I truly feel like now I can actually recover from the high rep stuff as well. And that's a really cool feeling. You know, you feel better about yourself. Um, you look better, you know, more muscle. You generally feel better when you have more muscle. Um, so uh, yeah, really, really pumped about that. I thought I'd share this with you. You can see my backyard. Um, that was all thanks to squatting every day and uh, this high rep training that I could actually, you know, put in uh, some solid work with everyday kind of labor stuff so anyway let me know if, if you guys have similar experiences where your gym uh, training has translated to everyday life um, this is kind of my first time I've experienced this in a long while I think um, certainly when I play basketball um, I would see it kind of the immediate effects you know quite often because I play basketball so often and then there was these gym sessions uh, but now I don't play any sports I just do you know um, workouts in the gym and I go to work and that's it um, but it's pretty cool when you actually you know pick the the, the, the fruits of your labor I guess um, in real life um, from the training you've done in the gym anyway guys that's all I've got for you today uh, for you today um, I'll basically come in here tomorrow early because I have work tomorrow so um, I won't do three sets of AMRAPs but I'll do some sort of high rep stuff maybe even I'll take the squat up to a, a heavy max I'm not sure how I feel um, I feel like I need to do some RDLs as well nowadays. Um, but anyway, I'll think about that later in the day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you guys.